Hello and thanks for joining us for a late night newscast coming to you from Ali Dang TV. I'm Mark Broom. Our top story tonight, two days of high-level talks between the two Koreas at the inter-Korean joint industrial complex in the North Korean border town of Kaesong have come to an end without producing an agreement to improve ties. For the details, let's jump straight over to our Gonsoa at the inter-Korean dialogue headquarters in Seoul. So, Soa, it appears the two Koreas will have to go back to the drawing board. Right, Mark. Unfortunately, Seoul and Pyongyang failed to reach an agreement. Now, despite a good start on Friday and anticipation for day two, this first vice minister level uh, level meeting uh, resulted with no tangible outcome. Now, after two sessions this Saturday, just between the chief delegates, Pyongyang called for another one at 6:20 p.m., but that only lasted five minutes. The North Korean side told the South that there was no reason to continue the talks as Seoul didn't seem to have the will to resume a tour program to the North's Mount Kumgang Resort. Now, that was a topic predicted to be Pyongyang's top priority as Seoul pulled the plug on the tours in 2008 after a South Korean tourist was shot dead by a North Korean soldier. Now, among other things, South Korea's main focus was to get North Korea to agree on regular reunions to be held for families separated by the Korean War, as there are tens of thousands of elderly Koreans on both sides of the border waiting for one last chance to see their lost, long lost relatives again. Now, what caused the biggest clash was that Pyongyang wanted the two issues to be dealt with at the same time and wanted to see a clear yes from Seoul on resuming tours to the mountain resort. But Seoul stressed that uh, given the different nature of the two issues, it was inappropriate to link them. Now, unfortunately, the two Koreas also failed on uh, deciding on the timing of a next meeting. Well, Seoul did ask for a resumption on Monday, but Pyongyang said there is no point. So we will have to wait and see what's going to happen next and whether these kinds of talks could become, uh, could happen on a regular basis. Now, that's all I have for now. This has been Kwon Soa reporting live at the Inter-Korean Dialogue Headquarters in Seoul. Back to you, Mark.